Welcome back to IOTA Quick Takes, everyone. Let's break down our biggest news of the year. Last week, we announced IOTA Rebased, a proposed upgrade to our Layer 1 protocol that aims to introduce programmability and full decentralization to IOTA. This exciting upgrade will be subject to an upcoming community governance vote. And if you're curious about the hows and whys behind this decision, we've got all the details laid out in an introductory blog post. You can find it on blog.iota.org. Now, IOTA token holders. Starting December 2nd, you'll be able to vote on the governance proposal in either Firefly or Bloom Wallet. Make sure to read the governance proposal on the IOTA governance forum, which outlines our motivation for IOTA rebased and how the changes will be implemented if approved. For those of you more interested in the technical details, don't worry, we've got you covered there too. You can dive into the proposed IOTA Rebase Protocols tokenomics model, key enhancements, and features in the blog post titled Technical View. It's a must read for those who want a deeper understanding of the mechanics behind this upgrade. If you're curious to explore IOTA Rebase firsthand, then check out our guide to the public testnet and devnet. These environments let you try out the protocol before its potential mainnet launch. The guide walks you through everything you need to know, and you can find it on our official blog. In case you missed it, our co-founder Dominic Sheener hosted a town hall meeting last week to share deeper insights into the decision to rebase the IOTA L1 protocol. Make sure to catch the replay on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget that tonight at 5 p.m. CET, Dominic Sheener, Luca Moser, and our engineering leads will be live on YouTube for an in-depth discussion about the tech behind IOTA Rebased. Be sure to set a reminder so you don't miss it. And that's it for this week's update. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow all our socials and we'll see you next time.